Hey! Welcome if you're joining to the Final Fantasy VII Remake first hour playthrough. So, I think the first thing we should talk about is just how cool this music is, right? The stuff's like iconic. And uh, I didn't even play the first one, but I mean, if you don't know this music by now, where have you been? So, I'm going to give it a go. I've played the demo, so I've played through this first section, as you may have as well, but I'll be checking it out for those who haven't, and um, starting my full playthrough of the game. So, um, let's kick things off. Cool. Camera controls, I will go default. Fun fact, but this is a story for the for another day. A year ago, I trained myself to swap from a lifetime of inverted y-axis to go to uninverted y-axis. That was quite a trick. Okay, select the difficulty of the game. The setting can be changed at any time. Classic is recommended if you want to focus on using commands in battle. Okay, so Classic says the player-controlled character will attack and defend automatically, allowing you to focus on executing commands. Okay, so that's easy, easy, normal. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I went for normal last time, so I'm gonna do that now. That was the fun one. Okay, here we go.
Get down here, Merc. Listen <laughs> how good that music is. Damn. All right, so we're finally in control. I think what the one of the craziest things to mention straight away about this game is just how damn good it looks. Um, I, I remember just as it came out, someone was saying that they can't believe this isn't the next gen game. And I mean, you can barely tell where the cutscene in the game begins. Who goes there? You're up. Okay, that's me. So let's get into the combat again. Good news is I don't remember most of the stuff I learned when I played the demo, so... Okay, use square to attack with cloud sword. Hold square to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple enemies. Alright, let's do You're that. coming with us! Nice and easy! Don't and think so. so. Not bad. Wow, that looks great. So, of course, taking a look at this game, the first thing I want to mention about the combat is the obvious one, and that is that the original game was turn-based. And while I've always been, I've always sort of looked fondly upon turn-based games, maybe because it was something Who I didn't help? play much as a kid. Hands where I can see them. Have fun. I will, thank you. Yeah, this, this, I mean, bringing this into as an action game, I think, is a great idea. And it feels really good in the combat so far. So, the ATB gauge fills as time passes and by attacking and, yeah, by attacking the square, once a bar is full, your character can perform special actions. Charges can be used immediately or saved. Try attacking the enemy to fill the gauge. Alright. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. Okay, you can expend ATB gauge charges to perform battle commands, such as using abilities, magical items, press X try using one of the commands. Okay. Alright. Abilities. Uh, focused thrust. Soldier operator! Very cool. That's that. And that is that. Was never in doubt. Cool. So, checking day. Checking data out of battle, main menu and map. When not in battle, you can check the map, open menus, and view various kinds of information. Use options to open the main menu. Press trackpad to access the map and check your various objectives. All right. Hmm. All right. The icon appears. You move character. Okay, that lets you jump over things sort of automatically or crouch and all that. I like that they've sort of streamlined that so you don't have to think too much about it. Go for it. Drop the so weapon! It feels like you're a part of such a little adventure. You got this. Or should I rather say big adventure? Yeah, what he said! As I mentioned before, the, the, you know, Final Fantasy VII is such a huge deal for so many people. And I'll never forget the way people flipped out when they announced this. And it seems like the good news is that, you know, uh, at least at first look and on the surface and from what I've read, the, you know, a lot of these people who are hoping for something special have really gotten almost as, you know, almost as much as you can hope for. I mean, there's always room for improvement, maybe. But the way they've taken this and expanded it out into this massive game now that you know, we all thought it was just going to be shorter episodes, but this is, they're, they're breaking this thing up into something really big. Let's carry on though. Guarding and evading. You can defend against enemy attacks by pressing R1 to guard or circle to evade. Successful guard reduces the amount of damage suffered and also charges your ATB gauge. All right. You're coming with us! You can't get surrounded. So. Nope. Nope. Oh my God. Try harder. Okay, so. I don't have any of that yet. Oh. So I can dodge. Told me to go to hell. That's very rude. Sorry. Oh, the dragon. The sword is so ridiculous. So iconic. So ridiculous. I love the gas There we go. That it? But almost the cloud. What's insane as well is if you go back and watch uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children. 
which you should only watch on UMD on your PSP. It's the right way to watch. It. Um, you know, you can't believe that the game's pretty much. I think I haven't actually checked it out in a while, but the games are pretty much on par, if not better than what the pre-rendered stuff used to look like. Okay, use triangle to open chests or doors or talk to people. See the word hold, then you need to hold down the button. Alright, so that's our action button. Cool. So here's a, a fun fact. A, uh, a when I was when I was younger, a lot of my friends were actually going crazy about not Final Fantasy VII but at the time Final Fantasy VIII. And a friend of mine developed a. We were playing pen and paper role playing games like Dungeons and Dragons and Star Wars. And a friend of mine. Um, developed an entire role-playing system for pen and paper that was its own thing and he ran a Final Fantasy VIII uh, pen and paper role-playing game for a group of us for quite a while I think it was like a year or so maybe longer that was some fun memories if you find boxes with the Shinra logo press X to uh, square to smash that contain useful items and such okay. so yeah um, that's not only just a little interesting tidbit there, but it also makes you wonder if Final Fantasy VIII will ever look at getting this sort of treatment once this is done and if it's a great success, because I know a lot of people who really love that game, <laughs> even though Final Fantasy VII is the darling. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is, is a one-time gig. Super awkward close when up it's done, up. we're done. Uh, 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 real joy to work with, though. Real joy it, to look at, too. Ooh, here we go. We're Must scoping out Cloud's ass. ass. Guess I'm not You'll on the same page safe, people. Right, Cloud? I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same. Give it a rest. This bit of banter is really cool. I, I mean, these characters. For, for many people, many people are having two different experiences here. Some are, like me, are experiencing all of this first time around, and other people are going crazy because these are characters they love so much. But it's easy to see why. It's so interesting and quirky. You immediately feel like you're looking yeah. at something special. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? That's totally the voice of the dude from <laughs> Breaking the Bad, right? And, uh, Wait. what else was he in? Uh, I want to say something like squirrel or raccoon or some strange animal. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. <laughs> Barrett's so cool. Isn't he just so cool? Okay. Just that's so cool. Now, I'm looking this up quickly because I'm gonna lose my mind if I don't. Badger. Badger is the name I'm going for, and I just absolutely love that Matt Jones, Tommy Matt Jones, was in this. Um, I love that I came up with Squirrel, and what was the other one, like Raccoon or something. I love how your brain sort of tells you one thing, and then, and then, uh, and then just serves up something similar. Okay, you can press R3 to lock onto a specific target, press R3 again to unlock. While locked onto a target, you can use R or the right to switch between multiple targets. Anyone who's played any of the major action games in the last while is yes, pretty first. familiar with these sort of mechanics now. The Witcher uses the Thunderbirds, the, the Dark Souls, and Bloodborne. Kind of Damn, dog. Let's give you a focus thrust. 
Damn, I don't think I remember this one being that different. Let's do this. It's over. In, uh... In the demo. So long. Ah, oh, no. That thing keeps missing. Hey! Looks like you're next. Shit. Okay, let's get close on this guy. Come on, buddy. That's that. Anyone else? <laughs> Nothing to it. Nothing to it, apparently. Although I feel differently about that. Okay, so. Matt Jones is officially Final Fantasy VII Wedge. So, uh, yeah. I don't think I completely... I'd like to say his voice was familiar, but I think I had heard about that beforehand. So I think I'm referencing some memory, not just working on... Yeah. Or what I do. The dude playing the other guy in the bandana also seems familiar to me from video games, though, but I can't quite place it. I'm a bit concerned. Because I swear these dudes feel way no escape. A little bit tougher than I remember them being in the demo. Okay, be sure to use potions and healing spells to regenerate HP because the game ends when all party members HP reaches zero. <laughs> now this isn't like old school Not where when the good. game ends. I still don't want to go through that. It's just, it's just I think this is the part where I should probably listen to what that thing is trying to tell me. Yeah. Restores HP, yes. Door. Now, I'm not the best person to speak to when it comes to the history of Final Fantasy, but I, if I do recall, the granddaddy of this whole sort of actionized system was Christ's Core, or something which I understand was a prequel of this game. And I remember trying that very briefly on my on my PSP. And I remember thinking it was very cool, and I always wish I'd checked it out more. Okay. Anything else, then? Yeah. One thing I noted, this game is very loud. Like, before this, I streamed the whole of Resident Evil 7, and I was running my headphones in full volume and speaking on the mic at the same time, but in this game, I've had to actually turn the sound down because it's just, the music is so loud and epic. I can't even come close to hearing myself speak or think. Alright. This way. <laughs> Not so fast. We've got company. Yeah, this is the dude whose voice is also What weird ass but cool job the job. Creatures. Okay, we need to work on that dog immediately. Uh I can bring it up. Oh, I think burst fire. Should be careful about that. Yeah, we should work on these. Gotta be careful. Because reduce their fire. I definitely need to heal already. Right. Okay, and then I'm gonna work with you. Get ready. Alright, so let's try and actually hit them this time. Try this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then. Alright. Let's go. Cool. All right, let's do this. I'll hopefully make my way through the demo sections quickly enough because I'm interested to see what comes next. Interested enough to dive into this whole game and uh, really find out what it's all about, especially since I've heard that it's over. Quite a difference. Ah, quite a difference from the original in terms of how much they've really expanded it out. Was never in doubt. And uh, dug into the characters and character building and so on. Although, from what I hear, there's a few things that some people aren't quite sure about in terms of 
a few changes they've made. Not to mention some spoilers were apparently dropped pretty early. And there were spoilers for people who even who'd played the original, so. That sucks for the country that don't ever do that. And they don't understand the joy you get out of hurting other people's experience, and I hope that that doesn't happen to you. Let's just take a moment, since we're doing a first look, to look around a bit and really just appreciate what's going on here. There's like an old school vibe about this game, but at the same time, look, just look at it. I love the feeling of this uh, city and everything. I think, I might be wrong here, so don't hate me, but I think the city's called Midgar, or is that the, the country or the world? I'm not sure. As you can see, I've done tons of research. Soldiers may Midgar. attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? Use the water noise. <laughs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? Hmm. Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Okay, Barrett is so, like, over the top. He's just so super masculine hardcore. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching you. His voice I'm watching you. is eerily similar to Robert Downey Jr. from Tropic Thunder. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Okay. Door! Oh, wait! wait! Uh, guess we'll have to handle this. It's over! That's my line. Oh, nice one. Let's do this, Cloud. Okay, switching modes. Every character has a unique ability which you can activate with triangle. Cloud is a mode shift ability. So this is swapping between his Punisher mode now and his balanced one. So, let's He's go. alone! We can take him! Okay. Okay, Punisher mode. In Punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly, but Square unleashes a more powerful attack than usual. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against an enemy melee attack. He cannot, however, guard against ranged attacks or magic. When you evade such attacks, you will switch back to operator mode. Okay. Make it rain! Make it rain, huh? Welcome back. He always knows just what to say. This Jesse chick is super cool. It's a good thing I know, I know someone who can get people. us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. The whole look with the hair and the hair in there. and everything. <clears throat> These two are like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Mostly. I got this place covered. That's this whole get up. <laughs> Some reason they remind me of they just they they look like such fighting game characters. She reminds me a bit of Ibuki, Ibuki from uh, Street Fighter. Okay. Security is only going to get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. Okay, Mr. Ginormous Gun for hand. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? I like that they've added these little... Security is only going to get tighter, so be ready. We can't okay, afford any more mistakes. So you won't get a couple out of them, but I do love that these, these little sort of chat moments that you can activate. <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? <laughs> I love that response. <laughs> Tifa and I. <sighs> uh, 
How rude. How rude, Mr. Barrett. <laughs> and unnecessary now that I see that we're just going into the elevator. Ooh, this place has got that whole Scarface thing going for it. The black and gold office. I only saw Scarface like three weeks ago, so it's fresh in my memory. These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Mako. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care. You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako <clears throat> is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. <clears throat> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Barrett belongs right in the middle of a Gears of War game. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. I think they're trying to tell us something. Just bear with them for me, would you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should have asked for more money. This dude. <laughs> <laughs> Barrett, it's just such a cartoon. Yeah! Okay, here we go. Cool, Barrett was. Join the party! Okay, Barrett specializes in ranged attacks. Holding down square releases a sustained burst of automatic fire. When equipped with a ranged weapon, so Barrett can fire from safe location and hit enemies that Cloud can't reach with his sword. Cool. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. These tin cans ain't got nothing on me. Ugh. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, what is overcharge? Now for the real right. show. There we go. Sort of a bit ahead of you there. Okay, pressing triangle while in control of Barrett to deliver heavy hitting attack that fills a large portion of his ATP gauge. Once the leash it takes a long time to recharge this attack, pressing the triangle, however, will speed up the process. Okay. Hurry so, up. Oh, so I can actually like, charge it. Yeah. Nice. Need another one. So, did the other guy go down? Yeah, he did. Hurry up. Damn it. This guy could. I can like reload his arms like Henry Cavill does in Mission Impossible. You can switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. You can also stick with the same character in your orders to party allies. Use up and down or left and right to switch characters. Use L2 and R2 to shoot commands to allies. Shut up and move over. <laughs> okay, so how do I just tell Barrett to like? You got that. <laughs> So, I can do this again, bring up Barrett, item spells, also okay. So, just abilities, I do wish I could actually pull him to... Yeah. Oh, well, that was too late. Don't overdo it. Don't forget to aim. Oh yeah? How about I aim for your head? Okay. No time to celebrate. Huh. Sure there is. 
Barrett is being so mean. It's like, I'm on your side, buddy. Uh, was it, were we coming, did we come from here or were we heading here? Look what we have here. The laser security system. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah, figure out the timing of the lasers. Then, make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. Okay, you can move around outside of battle more quickly by holding R1 or R2 to dash. Or you can press L3 once to keep dashing until you stop moving. Okay, so click or click click. Whip, whip. Uh, was there anything around here like boxes or things to collect? No? Hey. Not too right. heavy. Let's go. You're doing good. Okay. Cool. Man, this game looks good and just sounds so good. And people are going to be so happy okay. with well, this. We've been waiting for it. On the surface, anyway. It's it's hey, just really reeks of quality up front. The characters look so good. The uh, oh, ow. The, the music's still great, and I mean, they've, they've sort of reworked some of it. Like, uh, and like I said before, I didn't play the original, but I'm, I'm so familiar with so many elements of it, even in the beginning, that intro. And that intro, as far as I can tell, was expanded over the demo, because I don't remember some of that stuff. Maybe I'm losing my mind. But also that, uh, it's sort of like a play on the Sephiroth well, song that I know. And, and we're almost at our... Well, not a play, but it sort of hints at it. Just sounds so don't call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole Weepers. squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them. Damn, first. that thing looks like something. Looks like a tractor out of a Robocop movie. Okay, so let me open this up first. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? A bottle of ether. All right. So now there's a trick to these things, isn't there? Ah! We can take this hunk of junk! That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give uh, us an opening. Alright, I don't have any magic yet. Yeah. Have to... Okay, I see that the first thing I'm gonna have to do... Actually, no, I'm gonna use spells on it. The magic will light. Get that done. And then I need to seriously use an item. Okay, Barrett, let's hit it with a focus shot. Man. Okay, hitting enemies with certain attacks or dealing large amounts of damage will temporarily knock them off balance and pressure will appear underneath their gauge. When this happens, help them with spells and abilities to quickly fill their stagger gauge under their life bar. Once it's full, you can stagger them. The gauge fills faster depending on the abilities and magic used, as well as the foe's vulnerabilities. Find the most effective attack to quickly finish off each enemy. Hey! It's uh, not moving! Let's pin it down! Give it all you've got! Barrett, this is the time. Abilities, let's do another focus shot. Yeah! And then Cloud, I think you need some... What does Ether do? Restore the MP? Okay, grenade deals 250 damage. I wonder if I should do that. Let me just heal up first. Still in. Of course. We just had to get back up. So we knock it down again. No time to complain. Okay, it's staggered. Enemies have been staggered on defenses and take more damage. Using unique abilities on a staggered foe will quickly boost your ATP gauge. Boost your ATP gauge quickly so you can leech and more. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Unleash more abilities and spells. Okay. Okay, Barrett, let's do again. Hey, no. Alright, so abilities, let's go with uh, Raver at this time. I'll actually. Oh, yeah. 
And let's use some fire for good measure. No escape. See ya. Enough. And uh, one more focus shot for good measure. Cool. Sweeper defeated. What I want is something. First. Huh? Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the 20s. What the hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I. Uh, Soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm -hmm. Guess that makes you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn. Uh, it feels weird not having to jump button. Okay. Cool. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Alright, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. What have we got here? Ah! I've been bamboozled. I was so sure that was a little box with something good in it. Listen, bro. Decide, are you busy tasting Mako or are we hurrying up? Scared, huh? <laughs> More like excited. I've been dreaming about this for years. Alright. Awkward. Different. Heads up, boys. Okay. I leave the rest in your capable hands. Good luck. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, that way. Down the ladder, dummy. Down the ladder, dummy. Alright, I just want to see if there was like a box or something. Gosh. Can I heal up? Because I realized that I thought the healing. I thought that the healing stuff would happen automatically between combat rounds. Let me do that one more time. Oh no, not that. that. Barrett, you can wait for me. Okay. Um, I, I want to stop the Barrett like that. Okay, you don't have any of that yet. Okay, now I believe I've got it, so let's go focus shot. We can use it on that dude back. There. Where is he? There. There he is. Boom. That's very cool. Ba 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 you think if we fell in, okay. we sink right down to the bottom, to the planet's core? No, the pump would suck us back. Okay, I'll come for the game. Let's I'm really, really digging on this combination between. Relatively simple real-time combat, but mixed in with the strategy of the pausing and the items and things. I mean, as far as a, as far as converting a turn-based system into something that's real-time and more action-based with, with pauses, this is really excellent. And as, as someone who's not feeding off of all the nostalgia that a lot of people um, are are going through when they're playing this. Um, it's really solid. It, it, it feels like it's delivering yeah, on the, let's do this. Let's you know, that whole this. aspect of like, oh, I see what you guys liked about this all along, you know, and that that is ultimately, I think, the goal here is to provide the fans with something fresh yet familiar uh, that you know that they love so much and you know about something they love so much, and for people like me who knew about it and always wanted to know what all the fuss was about to, to feel like we're having or getting that now <coughs> experiencing it in a new way or in a modern way all right let's see if little stamp really can bite the hand that feeds hmm. go on do the honors prove to me you're the man tifa says you are I love that, that you're one of us never said i was i'm just here for the paycheck 
<laughs> Didn't do the damn job! <laughs> this dude. I must commend Cloud for managing to to pull off both a vest and a polo neck at the same time. What's wrong? I'm fine. What about the timer? You'll call, Merc. Uh, I remember doing this in the demo and I was like, why would we set it shorter? And then I set it shorter and... Pretty cocky, ain't you? Huh. It, it provided uh -huh. a fair amount of anxiety. You double crossing! <laughs> I got Barrett immediately blamed. Heads up! What in the hell?! Oh, you hey, how the hell do we fight fight this thing? It's got reinforced armor plated, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Huh. No other option, huh? Lightning magic. I don't have none of that, yo. Shit! Uh, Whoa! Should I be worried? Don't overdo it. Let's get back. Okay, Barrett, what do you got? You got thunder. That'll do the trick. That's under here? Hell yeah! You see how scary that did? Keep it up! I'm still surprised that I can turn down the volume. Watch the ball! Come on. Come on! I've turned down the volume on the on my headphones. Oh, stay now, but and I'm just sure. <laughs> With how loud this damn game is. Uh, but it's so epic, this music is just so good. Okay, abilities. Let's go focus trust. Gotta win this one for the play. Yeah, while you're doing that, I'm going to hit another thunder. This is gonna stick! Hey! Okay, Ain't you are pretty you want to say to yours too. Can I do it again? How much MP does this dude have left? Like, okay, he's got quite a bit still. So, and then Cloud, let's hit him with Braver. That's not the idea! Ah! Cloud got. I got this. Cloud got the full wreck of the Very stylish. Give it a nine. The yes, hell is that? Now. A barrier? Never seen this defense system before. Whoa. Sorry. Okay, so I Not see. you were the expert. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? Oh, 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 oh. So I see the health does. Is that health does? No, that's oh, that health does. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Roll! Bounce right off. Okay, nice so run, I think. Dumbass. Frontal yeah. assault's no good. I need to just rethink my life right now. Oh and good. Barrett, I need to get this dude to hit the thunder again, I do believe. Field generator, what is okay, so that's a weak spot, so we wanna get that. That didn't work either. And uh, let's go with fire as well, why not? I can protect those There! Attack it from the rear! I told you boy! Tell yeah. me what you got! Attack it from the rear, buddy. When in doubt, always attack. Really okay, Cloud is definitely not looking good, so I think I'm going to tell you to take some more potion. Um, and... I think Cloud, you need some more of that, so let's see if I can maybe get Barrett to be giving you some. Focus, and find a way. Okay, so... Ooh. Deal with that. Barrett, where are you? Where's... It's my time to shine. <laughs> We're going down there, please. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I should be doing that. I should probably be hitting the thunder first, right? Ow, damn. What's Barrett's help looking like? Okay. Um, Barrett. Ow, ow, ow. I ain't going down by the goddamn score. Barrett is getting hit pretty hard. Okay, so go for MP. Let me just rather get him some help. Potion Barrett. Hey, no, Taking over. I'm still not sure if fire is doing anything to this thing. Burn. And we'll try. Okay. Don't so. just fight. Adapt. Okay, Barrett. Yeah. 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 
sake of uh, uh, clarity, I'm going to pretend that I've been letting my ass get kicked so hard that I could uh, uh, use them. Woozy. Need to pack my smoke in. Nothing left to you when I'm ready. Oh, you in trouble now. Okay. Uh-oh. Alright, the crashy bits. Goodness, Barrett, you help Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? Okay, so, right. what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. Well, uh, you need some potion as well. Right. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Whoa. Don't overdo it. Keep going. If I knew that. Keep it together. Yeah. Better, better hide. I got this. 
is wide Take open. Gonna light it up. Okay, let's go. Let's get around behind it. There we go. All right, so let's thunder this bitch. Okay. We won't let this thing keep pushing us around. I don't think so. Okay, cloud can just start getting in there as well. Uh, let us use focus first. Here it comes. Barrett, you can do some more, right? So I think we could have just again. That's how the eye is. Can keep going. If I heal up. Chuck a grenade for good measure. How about that? Is this dude supposed to not be moving like this? Because I feel like he's supposed to be moving in this run. You got this! Why did I fuck things up? Whoopsie daisy. I do believe we might have seen that. There we go, there we go. Oh, let's do this. Oh, let's do this. Okay. Now, let's hit him with some lightning again. Some thunder. And uh, focus shot. Oh, what are you going, dude? Yeah. Oh, hey, what's it doing now? An auto repair. Oh, you got a shortcut. Damn it. You gotta take it out quick or it's good. Uh -huh. Oh, I am way yeah. ahead of you, Murph. Okay, let's go left. And, uh, Barrett, you can't do anything right now, hey? Ow, ow, ow. Okay, Cloud's got his limit. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it on the right hand. <laughs> Gotta heal up. Gotta time our attacks just right. Hold out okay, until Barrett. you spot an opening. Need my help, do you? When I get my chance, I'm gonna blow this bastard the hell up! And that's a promise! Okay. I'm gonna use you to keep this thing. Hello? I don't think I'm doing a particularly good job in this game. System. Oh my word! I don't know if I should be watching this. Let's, okay, let's try to see if. I ain't going down. Find the goddamn score. Uh, okay. Either for me. Uh, ouch. Gotta yeah. get around behind him, right? Okay, let's do this. Gotta heal up. Gotta love that. That left leg was the uh, yeah. the one I was working on, so let's thunder that left leg. Coming at you, hard fast. Yeah. Hey, follow my lead. Okay, clown. No time to waste. Uh, let's take it out quick. Let's just uh, come a leg there quickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm finessing this combat system very well. <coughs> or managing to, but uh oh. But I'll hope to get that. Okay. It is time. <coughs> oh. You hear that? Damn <laughs> thing showed you how it's done. Come on, epic we music move. comes to an epic close. Where's and then what do we have? More epic music. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Well, on a good note, I didn't have to fight the thing like four times. I'm having bad memories of my, my recent Resident Evil stream where a bit of bad luck and some idiocy got me 40 minutes in a boss battle that should have taken me about 10 minutes. Give me a break. Where is... where are you, Bad? Where the heck's Bad? Oh, I don't have him right now, eh? Good. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, off we go. We only have 19 minutes, which doesn't feel like it's that little amount of time. It's 
something very cool, I don't know if you know, someone pointed it out a while back. Cloud hair. What's the name? Jesse. Yeah. Gotta say Jesse! Uh, which one am I going to yeah, someone pointed out that Cloud's hair in the original Final okay? Fantasy VII was the exact same uh, I, as okay. Meteor from the logo. Help a girl out, would you? <laughs> I see they've kept a bit of that with his hair. My there. hero! Hey! We'll link up over there! Look after Jesse! Okay, Jesse, let's do this. Listen, between the Badger dude in this Come game this way. and Jesse over this here, I feel like... Straight to Barrett, probably. We've got an unexpected Breaking Bad tie-in happening. I think I see an idea. Come on. Uh, alright. Okay. Let's don't see what have you done. Let's go, let's go, let's go! No, I don't think there's a timer. I'm going to look at the loot box. That's what matters. Very cool, very cool. Let's get the hell out of here. We're running out of time. Shut up and climb. You're not helping. <laughs> Sorry, it just it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Have it I think way. Jesse and I can relate to that department. Talk, talk, talk. It's the way we handle things. There it! I've got to come! Find us a way out of here! But then... Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got Soldier Boy with me. <laughs> Alright, let's do the X, Soldier Boy. They're here! Oops, Soldier Take Boy, them don't down. get it wrong. We don't have time for this shit! The clock's ticking! Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Don't and overdo Barrett, it. How are we doing? Oh. Let's go. The others are waiting. Let's kill it. Okay. Off we go. Back we go. I wish there was like a crazy mode where you could have chosen like five minutes for the. Okay, this one requires a fire, right? I wish there was a crazy mode where you could have chosen like five minutes. Instead of, instead of 20 or 30. Okay, fire, let's do this. Deal with that. Alright, watch and learn. Golden opportunity right here. Nice, very nice. Steel skin. What does steel skin do? Temporarily reduce damage taken and how easily you're able to rub those you cannot. Hang on. Hang back. Hang back. Okay, and let's hit this with a focus thrust. You're done. Yeah, we are staggered. Let's do let's do a grenade for fun. I like this idea. This idea. Okay, we are hitting this thing hard. Take him down. Let's do an overkill. Come on. Let's go. Man, I really like this combat system. I hope it ages well over the course of the whole game because it's such a nice mixture, like I said before, between something that's fast-paced or right in front of you and something that's you know, still got a little bit of thinking or something. That's that. Strategy behind it. Speaking of which, I've never played like a Final Fantasy game or anything like that, so I don't even... Know how those work, or if there's any sort of link, or similarity between those, those games and the system. Dad, what are you doing down there? Okay. Got it? Okay. I remember the first time I saw Final Fantasy VII when I was but a lad. I believe I was probably about. Uh, 14, 12, 12, 14 at the time, I think 14, I'm not sure. And uh, I was actually in Durban on vacation. And I was at the Pavilion Mall. They had a couple of games out there, or they had one 
big game shop in there. Oh, I say big, I say main game shop. And I'll never forget seeing the Sega and the PlayStation. And they were just so expensive and so cool looking and haunted and so bad. And Final Fantasy was already sort of known as this, this next amazing thing. And I saw it there running in the store. And especially because I had never played anything like a Jericho deal, I had not even played something like Zelda back then. And as a result, it was... I never so I hit this down fire and the damage as well. Ow. No holding back. And as a result, yeah, I was not playing anything like very Japanese. I was a sort of PC and Sega boy as a kid. Um, except for my 8-bit Nintendo. And as a result, yeah, Final Fantasy was so exotic. That word. It just seemed like something so special, something I'd never really uh, experienced before. And even especially like the Zelda games, like I was used to playing, you know, Sega games, Mega Drive games, they were very arcade and like that, that way, and no so uh, they weren't very deep, they were like sort of good, good fun, but you know, like, uh, I didn't have any games in the way that they You don't look so, so good. Take care I, of those guys before you bleed out. I used to read the game magazines and I would uh, see these screenshots of JRPG and so on. Yes, it's my turn. Okay. Help out a little bit. Yeah, they look they look so interesting. Like these games that look like they seriously sick of people. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I need to start actually taking this a bit more seriously because these guys are really hurting me. Okay, shock trooper A, little let's just let's just bully shock trooper A at it. You got this! Yeah. Okay, can I focus thrust on Shock Trooper A? Let's get these numbers down a bit, shall we? Okay, where is Shock Trooper B gone? Hey, I'm, I've lost him. Okay. So, Barrett, what can we do on Mr. Shock Trooper B? Oh, he's a Shock Trooper, so I'm not going to use Thunder on him. I'm going to see if that doesn't do a great job. Come on, 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 Come on. Let's get rid of you. There we go. Done deal. Was never in doubt. Okay. 13 minutes left. And off we go. Cool. That dude looks like the kind of guy who would run a mega church in the USA. Open. 
Run, run, run. Can you walk? If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. I like how she specified that it's her. Very fancy. Okay, that was pretty cool. Alright, come on. So awkward. Is this like some time gig okay I think this is sort of bringing it to where the demo comes to an end <sighs> looks like we made it and with nothing but a few scratches to show <laughs> think you might have overdone it I followed the instructions to the letter maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the plan is what matters, right? I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it. Huh. Okay, so... Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. This game is once again like messing with my head because I spent Ugh. just enough time. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Okay, so this is already different from the demo. The demo sort of jumped us to another place and then left us at that. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. <laughs> oh, it's me. Gotta <laughs> do something about that. And soon. I need to find out who this big dude voice is and why. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time, I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. How much right. farther do we have to go? Not far! Come on, come on, come on. Open. That's uh, about as good a place as any. I'm Stand so back, then. Where we going? I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. Oh, I'm in the right place. Got confused there for a second. All right. Look She's at the size go. of Cloud Sword. Seriously, it counts as like an Fire entire ahead. shield on his back. <laughs> you sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything here. that gets in my way. Okay. Attention all citizens. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse. Rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of the No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. 
This was just the first reactor. And the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah. We always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, this is very inspirational. your concerns, and yes, your fears. <laughs> Whatever your problem, I got you. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! <laughs> okay. Escape the route. We'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Okie dokie. Later then. Okay, cool. That brings us to the end of the demo area. So I'm actually going to just stop this right here. And uh, I would think I'll take a hey. moment to chat about... I'd like my money now. You can have it. A little we'll bit about what we've seen. At base. And then um, I may continue this in the next video. So let me just sort of get around here. Just want to see what happens next. Hmm? I don't need to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it for saving my life. Just doing my job. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <laughs> that is weird reaction. Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know I what do not. I was, right? Okay, material and equipment unlocked so I will check this out quickly you can now set material to your weapons and armor try setting the healing material to your buster sword all right cool uh, am I doing the right thing set material healing material yeah Okay, the material is now set. Material set to your equipment allows you to use new spells and abilities and also boosts your stats. Find a combination that works for your battle strategy. This ends the tutorial. Thank you for that little confirmation of ending. I appreciate it. Cool, so I can jump out here. Okay, I was only trying to help. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. Woo. Jesse dropping in some lines there. Okay. Before I stop, I just want to point out that this is insane. This looks like it looks like I'm in a, a cutscene. That is just incredible. How good that looks. If you showed this to you when you were playing Final Fantasy VII as a younger person, your brain would have exploded. You wouldn't have even believed this was a pre-rendered scene. Okay, I'm going to bring up the menu and even drop the sound slightly if that's possible. Just to finish up uh, some thoughts. Just going to bring that, that music volume down. Right, so that brings us to the end of the first look that runs through mostly what the demo already showed now i was surprised to see that there were some differences but that was quite cool not much of the gameplay but again i'm, I'm trying to still decide for myself if i lost my mind 
or if the the uh, you know if I, I uh, just didn't remember right or if that stuff was extra but yeah there were, we saw a few more scenes of the cutscenes and then of course this part at the end is quite different and it has it has us coming into this area now whereas at the end of the demo it just sort of pushed you into another area and then let you know it was over so my first impressions as someone who didn't play the original games is that this is it's beautiful the combat's fun um, and what I really like about it is it seems to capture some sort of magic that makes it feel clear that you, you could just tell that this came from something special and something that people really loved because it doesn't in any way feel like some sort of simple rehash uh, the characters are really cool I find them really quirky and it, yeah I'm interested to find out more about them. so on that beautiful note look at it my goodness Thank you for checking out the first hour or so of Final Fantasy VII with me. And uh, I look forward to continuing with this. I'm reviewing it and also probably going to be playing some sections. And hopefully I'll record a bunch and chat a bit more as I'm going along. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining. I'll chat to you soon and check us out more at whatsgood.co.za. Thank you. Good night.